What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this in Scratch relatively easy and how you can make something like it super easily. So basically what this is is if I so if I were to just take all this out and just do render and then set it so it's not running screen without refresh what you will see is it is just stacking a bunch of layers on top of each other and if we point towards mouse pointer you'll see that it is just stacking a bunch of layers on top of each other what it is doing is first switching to this costume Stamping, changing Y by one, doing this costume, doing this costume, doing this costume, doing this costume, this, this, and then this. So it's basically just a layered system where it renders it all out, which gives it a 3D effect. So as you can see, I switched to costume one, stamp, change Y by one, repeat that nine times to tell how thick I want the layer. Now what the shadow is doing is the same thing instead it's always changing its x by one so if you see if we do this it's doing the same thing except downwards and it's changing its x by one which makes it so it's always facing the right direction so if we run these both without screen refreshing you see that right here it's change y by negative one and change x by one so it's doing the same thing and as you can see what that creates is sort of a 3d illusion especially with the shadow because it emphasizes the depth that this has now how you would create this is pretty simple you would just create a bunch of layers for something like a race car or a person even or anything and then you would duplicate those layers and in one color make a shadow sequence with the same layers and just duplicate it and instead of change y by one change y by negative one change x by one or whatever direction you want the lighting in but yeah that's how you get this super cool 3d effect with a shadow easily on scratch thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next scratch tutorial peace